The First Lady of Nigeria, Senator Olure Mitunubu, and the wife of the Vice President, Nana Shetima, have visited aiding actor Mr. Zach Oji at the National Hospital, Abuja. The veteran Hollywood actor Zach Oji is currently struggling for his life. The veteran actor collapsed in his toilet somewhere in Abuja, where he went to celebrate the Christmas holiday after a long movie production throughout the year of 2023. He was immediately rushed to the hospital, and after some first aid treatment, he regained consciousness but was unable to walk or talk. The doctor said that the reason he collapsed was unknown, and all kinds of tests were being run on him to ascertain what was wrong with him. However, after the doctors ensured he regained consciousness, he was immediately transferred to the intensive care unit, ICU, of the National Hospital Abuja where he is currently receiving treatment. Days after he was rushed to the hospital, the First Lady, Senator Olunre Mitunubu, and the wife of the Vice President, Nana Shetima, visited the alien actor. Accompanying them were notable dignitaries, including the Minister of Women Affairs and Social Development, the wife of the Minister for Works, and the wife of the Minister of State Defense. Details of their visit were sketchy, as they visited him last night. Those specific details of the First Lady's interaction with Zach Oji were limited at the time of this reporting. It was reported that the First Lady was at the hospital to celebrate the first baby of the year and only spent about 13 minutes with the actor. However, reports coming from the hospital revealed that the actor's health has improved following the intervention of his doctor to ensure that he got the best medical attention the National Hospital could afford. He has started talking and he is in stable condition with his wife and family by his side. At the beginning of December, Zach Oji complained of unusual weakness and tiredness. His family didn't take it seriously because he had been on a movie location for the past few months and just returned from a recent concluded movie location which he also posted the behind the scene on his Instagram page. So they thought it was too much of stress that was making him feel weak without knowing it was a result of an underlying illness. So they suggested that he needed to take a rest, especially since it was the Christmas holiday. Since Lagos is a noisy and stressful city, he was advised to go to Abuja to have a nice rest because the city is more calm and quiet. When he got to Abuja, his body's weakness became more serious and he started feeling dizzy with little headache. He then complained about it to the people around him in Abuja, and he was given paracetamol, which reduced it, especially the headache. Two weeks later, the body weakness came back again in tenfold. This time, he was ready to visit the hospital after the Christmas and New Year celebrations, but unfortunately, he slumped in the toilet on December 29, 2023. Inside sources say that Zach Oji has been battling with diabetes for some time now, and he has been trying to manage it with the help of his loving wife and children, who made sure he ate healthy food that would maintain good insulin balance. But he recently started experiencing high blood pressure because of too much stress, and as a result, his body couldn't manage it, which made his body system break down. Zach Oji is a renowned Nigerian actor, movie producer, and businessman, who has left an indelible mark on the Nigerian entertainment industry with a career spanning several decades. The actor is known for his remarkable performances in several Hollywood movies. Zach Oji is a living legend in the Nigerian movie industry. He is well respected and adored, but after the last Nigerian general election that made Tinubu the president, they quickly became angry with him because he campaigned for the current president against the people's choice. The famous actor was born on the 10th, 1960 in Gabon. He grew up in Cameroon. Togo and the Benin Republic, all in West Africa. Having grown in Cameroon, Benin and Togo, he speaks English and French fluently. Zach is the eldest child in his family of seven children. He is a native of Ogo LGA in Enugu State, but his mom is from Cross River. Zach Oji enjoyed fetching firewood during his childhood days and was of a great help to his mother, who was in the soft drink business. His father's dream for him was to study medicine. However, the actor was absent during the exam day, which resulted in the automatic disqualification for that year. 
He then relocated to Nigeria after completing his primary and secondary school education. He also schooled at the National Grammar School Nike Enugu and was the senior prefect of the 1979 set. Zach Oji proceeded to the University of Nigeria Soccer, where he graduated with a bachelor's degree in estate management. After completing his tertiary education, he started making shoes. However, his shop was broken into and several items were stolen. The talented actor developed an interest and passion for acting at a young age. After completing his university education, Zach Oji joined the Nigerian movie industry, popularly known as Nollywood, in 1991 and acted in his first movie, Unforgiving Sin, a movie that brought him to the limelight. In 1993, Zach Oji was featured in the Nollywood blockbuster movie titled Eva, a movie that made him a household name in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. Since then, he has featured in more than 200 movies, which is a huge accomplishment. Zach Oji is referred to as one of the most gifted and most talented actors in Nigeria. He has also been described by many media organizations and movie fans as Nollywood's living legend. Zach Oji is also a pioneer of the Nigerian movie industry and contributed immensely to its growth and development. Zach Oji made his directory debut in the year 2000 with the movie titled Web, starring himself and Ghanaian actress Kasum Snell. The movie won Best Collaborative Film in Ghana Awards of 2001. The actor has also ventured into real estate business and entrepreneurship. Nollywood actor Zach Oji is married to Ngozi Oji. The couple have been together for two decades. They met in Enugu when Ngozi was still a student at the Institute of Management and Technology. In the 90s, they could start in Deadly Passion, with Ngozi playing Zach Oji's on-screen side chick. Before meeting his wife, Oji had a long list of qualities that he was looking for in his potential wife. According to the actor, he wanted a woman like his mother, a beauty to behold, and a woman he was older than. After his youth service, he met Ngozi, who was still a student and also an actress then, and she possessed all the requirements. He got to know her better as they dated for three years before eventually getting married. Now, the couple is blessed with three lovely children, two girls and one boy. Among his children is Lerino Chukwemeka Oji, the only son of Zach Oji. He was the only child for about 10 years before his two younger sisters were born. Leo is the carbon copy of his father, Zach Oji. One can say he's the younger version of Zach Oji. Leo studied media and television at the University of Bradford, United Kingdom. Zach Oji's only son, Lionel, is a musician. He started doing music at a very young age. He started singing at the age of nine. As a child, he would follow his dad to movie locations, and in the process, he featured in three movies. In two of those movies, he played the role of Zach Oji's son. But he doesn't have passion for acting. His mom at the time used to sing in church while his dad plays the guitar and sings too, though he's popularly known as an actor. That was where he picked up the passion to be a musician. Thank you. Hey everyone, hope everyone is good, they had a good weekend. So I want to quickly share something I call Warfare of the Mind. And um, I posted something on my birthday which was on Saturday, August 15th, yeah. So I posted something about a victory that God gave me over a couple of things that um, came up that morning. And um, I just want to quickly share as I'm led to share. And I believe that when we share stories and we share testimonies, it helps to encourage others and help others also in their journey as well. So I'll just go straight into it. Um, so I'm just going to read from what I wrote down because I wrote it down. I didn't want to forget everything that he wanted me to share. And I pray that as I share, the Lord will speak to you as well. Um, so I was expecting to wake up the morning of my birthday. Um, filled with joy and praise, but I woke up from a dream. I couldn't um, fully remember and I did not um, 
understand and the little that I remembered I I didn't understand it was a bit um, I don't know it was a bit worrying and um, I began to notice when I woke up I began to notice the spirit of heaviness fear jealousy um, envy unrest uncertainty and disorder and so many other things just welling up in my body and um, my body heart and mind and I did not understand what was going on fully because I was like what's going on you know I, I will confess that the, the jealousy part started the night before but it wasn't really it wasn't very um, obvious you know so but it was really obvious this morning like in the morning of my birthday and I wondered why why I was feeling this way I started I began to ask God like why am I feeling this way this very morning um, but my mind was too um, occupied 